Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, we have been asked to find the voltage between the two nodes P and Q at time t is equal to 60 millisecond. And here all the diodes are ideal diode. So here as you can see, the input signal is the sinusoidal signal and its peak value is equal to 10 volt. And here, if we compare this 100 pi t with 2 pi f t, then here the frequency of oscillation is equal to 50 hertz. That means time period t is equal to 20 millisecond. That means each cycle will repeat itself after 20 millisecond. So here we have been asked to find the voltage VPQ at 60 millisecond or equivalently it is after 3 cycles. So first of all let us see how the diode behaves during the positive as well as the negative half cycle. So here this peak amplitude is equal to 10 volt and during the negative half cycle that is equal to minus 10 volt. Now during the positive half cycle this diode will try to conduct because the anode is more positive than the cathode. And if this diode is conducting then the current should flow in this direction and the same current will also try to flow through the bottom diode. But if this diode is conducting then the current should flow in the forward direction. That means the diode at the bottom is off. And if this diode is off, then the upper diode will also remain off because there is no path for current to flow. Now one may assume that the current can flow through this capacitor. But if you see, when this diode is conducting, then it will act as a short circuit since all these diodes are ideal diode. And if it acts as a short circuit, then the both terminals of the capacitor are at the same potential. That means this current cannot flow through the capacitor. That means whenever this bottom diode is off in this condition, the upper diode will also remain off. Now on this side if you see, then the cathode is more positive than the anode. That means the upper diode will remain off. And now if you see, then this bottom diode is already isolated. So it will also remain off. That means during the positive half cycle, all the four diodes will remain off. Now let us see how the circuit behaves during the negative half cycle. So during the negative half cycle, this terminal will become negative and this terminal will become positive. So now since the anode is more positive than the cathode, so this bottom diode will become on and the current will start flowing in this direction. But in this condition if you see, then the upper diode will remain off because the current through the diode cannot flow through this direction. That means the upper diode will remain off and in this condition the current will flow through this capacitor and due to that this capacitor will charge up to peak voltage that is equal to 10 volt. That means during negative half cycle this capacitor will charge up to 10 volt. Now in this side if you see then this bottom diode will remain off because this cathode is more positive than the anode. That means this bottom diode is off. But on the other end, the upper diode will start conducting. And in this condition, the current will flow through this direction. And during this time, this capacitor will charge up to peak voltage that is equal to 10 volt. That means during the negative half cycle, both the capacitors will charge up to peak voltage. So now once again, let us see what will happen during the next positive half cycle. So now during the next positive half cycle, the voltage across these two capacitors is equal to 10 volt. Now because of this polarity, if you see this diode, then this diode will remain off because its cathode is more positive than the anode. So due to that, this diode will remain off. Now in this condition, if we see the voltage at this node, then this voltage Vp is equal to this Vi plus 10 volt and of course here we are assuming that this node is the reference node. That means this voltage Vp is equal to this input voltage plus 10 volt. Now during this next new cycle, the input voltage is changing from 0 volt to 10 volt. That means this Vi max is equal to 10 volt while this Vi minimum is equal to 0 volt. And therefore this voltage Vp will vary between 10 volt to 20 volt. On the other end, this anode is already at the ground potential. 
and therefore since the cathode is more positive than the anode so this diode will also remain in the off condition similarly on the right hand side if you see then this voltage vq is equal to minus 10 volt and because of that this upper diode will remain in the off condition because the voltage at the anode of this upper diode is equal to minus 10 volt while the voltage at the cathode is equal to vi and during the positive half cycle since the vi is varying between 0 to 10 volt so this upper diode will remain in the off condition likewise since the vq is equal to minus 10 volt so the voltage across this lower diode is also equal to minus 10 volt and therefore this lower diode will remain in the off condition that means once again during the positive half cycle all the four diodes will remain in the off condition but in this condition if you see the voltage at the node p and q then this vp is equal to vi plus 10 volt while this vq is equal to minus 10 volt so now let us see whether these voltages will change or not during the negative half cycle so during this negative half cycle now the polarity of the input voltage will change and in this condition these two capacitors are already charged up to 10 volt so once again if you see then this voltage vp is equal to this vi plus 10 volt and in this condition this vi is changing from 0 to minus 10 volt so once again this bottom diode will remain in the off condition because at the most this vi will become minus 10 volt that means at this point both the anode and cathode are at the zero potential therefore this bottom diode will remain in the off condition and since the voltage across this capacitor is equal to minus 10 volt so this upper diode will also remain in the off condition that means both the upper and the lower diodes will remain in the off condition similarly if we see on this side then the voltage across this lower diode is equal to minus 10 volt and therefore it will remain in the off condition on the other end this vq is equal to minus 10 volt that means for the upper diode the voltage at the anode is equal to minus 10 volt and the voltage at this end is equal to vi and during the negative half cycle since the vi is varying from 0 to minus 10 volt so the voltage at the cathode at the most can go up to minus 10 volt and therefore this upper diode will also remain in the off condition that means during the negative half cycle also this voltage vp is equal to vi plus 10 volt while the voltage vq is equal to minus 10 volt and the same thing will also repeat during the next cycle that means after the three cycle if you see the voltage at time t is equal to 60 millisecond or at this point then this vp is equal to vi plus 10 volt while this vq is equal to minus 10 volt and at the beginning since the vi is equal to 0 so this vp will become 10 volt and this vq is already equal to minus 10 volt that means at time t is equal to 60 millisecond this vpq is equal to vp minus vq and that is equal to 10 minus minus 10 volt that is equal to 20 volt that means after the three cycles at t is equal to 60 millisecond or at this point the voltage vpq is equal to 20 volt and therefore for the given question the answer is 20 volt